everyone and welcome back to Bear's Reading Nook. I'm Kara and today we're going to be talking about some books that I want to read in March. Now in February I kind of shifted to more of a mood reader and read a lot of manga and not as many um, books as I would like. However, I'm kind of just embracing the mood reading and letting myself kind of read what I want. I do have about four books here that I would like to get to um, this month if possible or at least very soon. So let's talk about them. The first one is of course Novice Drug Near. So this is for two different reasons. One because mood reading made me not read more than like 10 pages and also because one of the other friends in the book club that this was picked for um, hasn't gotten it yet because her library has been a little weird. So we kind of extended it because of both those reasons, because we want to make sure that all three of us can actually read these books. Um, fantasy with dragons. I'm for that. Yes. <laughs> um, next would be Kings of the Wild. So this is um, kind of like a getting the band back together of a group of older retired, I think, mercenaries. Um, to go on like one last kind of you'd be stupid to go on mission and it just sounds fantastic and I really want to read it so yeah this is on here um finally for the physical books at least is the obsidian tower so this was a previous book club pick um sometime last year and um I really enjoyed it and there is the second book in the series now that I believe came out in last October, I think. Um, and I really want to read the second book. However, I need to reread this one first because I don't fully remember everything that happens. And I want to remember more because I remember really enjoying this. And I like the story. And this basically follows a warden named Rysander who um, basically is kind of like tasked with making sure that a specific door is never open because if it is, bad things could happen and no one wants that. Um, and maybe, maybe it gets open, who knows? I definitely don't. I'm really excited to read this. Um, again and I really enjoyed it the first time and hopefully I will enjoy it as much the second time if not potentially more and possibly um, notice things that I didn't see the first time. Okay so the final book. I'm so excited for this. Okay so the the final book um, I will be reading on ebook but I do have a physical copy just not with me it's with my mom and we are buddy reading it because I've wanted her to read this since I read the first book probably last year. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and the book is the first book in the Dream Defenders series and I think it's just actually called the Dream Defenders and this follows Nolan and Aaron who I want to say are around 13-ish. I could be wrong about the ages but I feel like they were close to that. And um, Aaron basically comes to Nolan's school and is trying to recruit him to be part of the Dream Institute. And the Dream, in the Dream Institute is basically um, a kind of group of people that um, focus on the safety of dreamers. And so a lot of the story takes place in like the dream world which um, when I read this originally I was blown away with like how the world was kind of built and how it was in fact like a dream world and um, just being able to visualize all that was really awesome and I hadn't at that point and I don't think I have currently read something where like it took place like a good bit of the book or all of it or whatever in like a dream world and I really appreciated it and I really really enjoyed it. I'm just finally oh I'm excited to finally have my mom read this because I 
when I read it the first time, was talking her as well as my husband's ears off because I really loved this book. It was fantastic. And I, I hope it holds up. <laughs> I really do. Um, but I also want to reread it so that I could potentially pick more things up that I didn't the first time as well as, um, like, kind of have the story fresher in my brain when I go to read the rest of the series because I'd like to, you know, read the rest of the series because I think I stopped... I stopped like 50 pages into the third book because I couldn't remember anything that happened. So I want to read it and I want to also be able to read the third and fourth book. So that's happening. I'm excited. Um, so there will probably be other books that um, end up being read this month, but I wanted to leave it open um, because of just mood reading as well as the fact that it's my birthday month and considering I put a, a bit of books on like various lists for family and stuff. I would assume that I may or may not get a book or two and want to be able to read that if I do or if I decide to um, go book shopping and pick some up um, because that's also a possibility. Um, I didn't mean to pick like three chunky fantasies but yeah these are three of the four books that I'm planning on reading this month. And I'll see you guys next time in the Rose Nook. Bye!